Innovation Station begins now on a Tuesday afternoon. And Kaylin, today we talk anniversary marketing. Yes, anniversary marketing. There's so many anniversaries. I mean, we did day marketing one time, right? We talked mm-hmm. about like some gifts I day and whatnot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is kind of like a day marketing, but not really. So I had to set it aside. So anniversary marketing, basically, it's what it says it is, Self-explanatory, right? Self-explanatory, yeah. Exactly. And there are so many companies that celebrate their 10th, 20th, 30th, 40th, 50th. Mm-hmm. But not only that, their 7th, their mm-hmm. 14th, you know, yeah. first, every year. First, first anniversary. First yeah. is a big one. Yeah. So every year there's an anniversary for their company. Mm-hmm. And they promote that day somehow so that not only do they give away free stuff yeah. or coupons, but they also want their brand name to become bigger. And better known. That's Mm. why they use this day specifically to celebrate and to give out coupons and whatnot. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it would be silly for a company not to take advantage of their anniversary Mm -hmm. day because it's just an excuse to get their name out there through social or through whatever media they can and get people into their shop. Yeah, and speaking of, tomorrow, actually, the 29th of September, Uh is a big 50th year anniversary for a coffee company. Mm. And currently they're giving away like free plastic cups Ah. if you order coffee here in Korea. Star blank? Yes. Mm, And in the mm, States, mm. they're actually giving out free coffee on the day. Yeah, the reusable cups they're giving out today, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Viola tried to go to Mpux earlier today, and she was in a line of about I don't know how many people, (laughs) Mm -hmm. and then she tried to register online, Mm -hmm. and I think, Viola, you said 10,000 people were in front of you. Online, right? 10,000 wow. people were in front of Viola <laughs> yeah. to get the free plastic reusa- oh reusable cup. So I tried to get into the app just mm-hmm. now to right before I came on the show. Uh-huh. Um, I had to wait in line to actually see the app. Oh. So there oh, was wow. a wait to get online because there's wow. so many, so much traffic in the app that I couldn't log on to it as soon as I, which usually I can do. Yeah. Buck's uh, 50th anniversary tomorrow, you said. Yeah, tomorrow the yeah. 29th. I mean, this is just proof that anniversary marketing works. Mm-hmm. Mm. Speaking of 50th anniversary, and they're the big company, mm. uh, when you think of animated films, you think of this particular company, right? Mm. Pixar. Uh, the other one, the D company. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Who now owns Oh, that's true. Uh, Who now owns Pixar, the P company. (laughs) Well, they are celebrating their 50th anniversary. Wow. Um, Their world, right? The D world Mm -hmm. theme parks. Uh, They are introducing new attractions, which means they will attract more people to their parks, right? Good idea. Do you you have any idea what those new attractions are? There's a Ratatouille adventure that's coming up. Oh, fun. Yeah, so that's going to be a new ride there, a new themed uh, area, I guess. And they're also changing up uh, their theme parks, too, to make it more celebratory. Mm -hmm. Uh, The Ratatouille uh, ride is going to be in 4D. Oh, which is oh. kind of like the trend these days. The Harry Potter ride was in 4D, too. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's, it's really fun. So I'm getting ready for that. That company, too, is uh, in collaboration with the Mini Brick Company. Uh, oh, I, yes. I read an article that they're, they're, they're releasing uh, the Magic Kingdom, uh, if that's what you call it. Oh, uh, uh-huh. with, with the, the castle with the bricks. And the with ca- the bricks. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. They're also collaborating with Cirque du Soleil. And uh, they're releasing a family-friendly show, Uh uh, bringing in their timeless stories and characters in life, Uh to life, actually. Um, So, yeah, there's going to be... Uh, circus yep. with a theme of the D company. Oh, like a Mickey Mouse Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, something like that. Or even like their princesses and all their stories are going to be you know, part of their act. So have they're you, introducing uh, that. There's have a ever... very famous children's TV show in Australia called uh-huh. The Wiggles. I've never heard of it, but I did some research. Yeah. And they are like timeless, right? Like Adults grew up with them. Kids that these days are growing up with them too. It's like Sesame Street. Okay. It's just wiggles, Australia, not like the Wiggles. Oh, the or, Wiggles. Oh, the Wiggles. Yeah. And a supermarket company in Australia. They're teaming up with the Royal Australia Mint, and they're releasing collector coins with their characters in them. 
Oh. And this is coming up in October. Wiggles coins. Yeah, the Wiggles coins. And they're $2 coins. And you can start finding them on October 6th of mm. this year. So if you're in Australia and you like the Wiggles, uh-huh. then you can uh, find these coins at that supermarket. That'll be really popular with kids for sure. Yeah. And parents whose <laughs> kids force them to buy them for them. Or mm-hmm. even adults who really grew up with the Wiggles. Yeah, that's fair too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also a very a new kind of like supplement uh-huh. uh, called I something. It's like the I moon. Oh, yes. But yes. it's a different pronunciation. It's like immune pronounced differently. Okay. Um, that company, they're celebrating their first year. Okay. Aww. And so, well, they're targeting the young generation mm. and saying that, you know, our supplements can really benefit your skin, your intestines, you know, uh, it enhances immunity and whatnot. Mm. And they're really popular. They're getting popular because they're pretty tasty too. Mm-hmm. And they're doing a campaign to celebrate their first year anniversary. Mm. Uh, but basically what they're doing is that they're giving out a lot of free freebies to people who buy their products mm-hmm. for the whole year, I guess. Oh, oh no. Yeah. So Something like that. they're marketing to children? It's no, no, no. Not younger. The, young, the 20s and uh, the 30s. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting because usually those types of supplement companies... That deal with like digestion and other things mm-hmm. like that. They usually market to older people, right? Yeah, but now they're targeting the youngsters. Mm. Well-